Today we're going to be learning about annuities. This is very important because you're going to have to learn this to manage your bank account uh, and take care of your own money. So, we're going to be focusing on question 7. At the end of every quarter, Simon deposits $450 in an account that earns interest that is compounded quarterly. After 1.5 years, Simon will have $2,874.48 in the account. How much total interest will have been earned? Okay, so how we do this is that um, since they say compounded quarterly, it means they compound four times in one year. And in 1.5 years, there are six quarters of a year. So what you need to do is multiply the deposit 450 by six, because six quarters in 1.5 years, and then you get $2,700. dollars uh, $2,700. Uh, um, and you know that the remainder is, then you subtract from uh, the total, 2,874.48 minus $2,700, and then you'll get $174.48. In the so that's the total interest uh, uh, that will have been earned. And now part B, determine the annual rate of interest compounded quarterly. So for this we have an annuity formula. So the formula is A equals R times. 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 over i. a represents the, sorry, a represents the total amount, including the principal and interest. i represents the interest rate, and n represents the number of, uh, the number of compounding periods. R represents the regular payment, which in this case is 450. So let's substitute all our values here. A is the total, which we know in the question is $2,874.48. 2,874 48 equals um, R, which is regular payment, which is 450, 450 um, times and then one plus i. We're trying to figure out the annual rate of interest, so that's what we're trying to figure out, i. One plus i to the power of n. So n is the number of periods, which is six, because there's six quarterly periods in 1.5 years. So it's to the power of six minus one. Uh, divide by i, which we're trying to figure out. Um, and then how do we solve for this? Well, the only way you can actually solve for this is by guessing and checking. So after guessing uh, and checking a couple values from when i is between 0 and 1, we want a decimal here. Um, you'll notice that if you zoom, uh, if you get closer to the answer, you'll get closer to around 0 0.025. So i equals um, 0 0.025. 0.025, and you can even check with a calculator. You can sub in all these values. Make sure you do every calculation right. Press equal sign before every operation to be safe. Anyways, I is 0 0.025, um, but that's not what they want. They want determine the annual rate of interest. Annual means every year compounded quarterly. Um, annual rate of interest compounded quarterly. So this is the quarterly rate of interest. We need to multiply this by 4 to get the annual rate of interest. Um, so 0 0.025 multiplied by 4, and you'll get 0, uh, 0.1. And you'll see that 0 0.1 is the same thing as 10%. Therefore, the annual rate of interest compounded quarterly of Simon's account is 10%.